West African Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination. We have the Federal Mathematics 2024 paper here. We are going to look at paper two, this time question number four. So what is question number four saying? Question number four is on trigonometry. We have to solve eight cos square x plus two cos x minus one is equal to zero for 90 degrees to 270 degrees. So that is in the from the second to the third quadrant. Okay, so let's see. We are solving. So we have eight cos square x plus two cos x minus one equals zero. We can rewrite it so that we can do substitution for cos x. So when we let m equal cos x, whatever we see cos x here, we put m there. So this will give us 8m squared plus 2m minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation in m. And we can factorize this by splitting the, 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 middle, the middle term. So when you multiply this by this, you get negative 8. Now the factors of negative 8 are to add up to 2. Are 4 and negative 2. That's why we are using it to split the middle term. And the next thing is we factor. So when we factor, we are getting the highest common factor to be 4m. Then we are obtaining 2m plus 1. Minus 2m plus 1 times 1. So we factor the 2m plus 1 again because it's common to both sides, to common to both terms. So we have 2m plus 1 into 4m minus 1 equals 0. So either both factors, either of the factors are must be equal to 0. So we have m to be equal to negative 1 over 2 or 1 over 4. Now we are in the second to third quadrant this is 90 and this is uh, 270 here so we, we are looking for the one that is satisfying these regions these two regions so we we know that cos this is cast 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 so we know that Cosine is negative is positive in the fourth quadrant here, and the first quadrant all are positive. So that is not what we are looking for. We are looking for where cos is negative. So the, the negative half is what we are going to use because cos is negative in this quadrant and this quadrant. So we are going to make use of cos x equal negative 1 over 2 because we are going to discard this one since it is not part of the range we are looking for. So x will be equal to 180 plus cos inverse of half. Half is the principal value. So the principal angle will be cos inverse of half that is the acute angle then we'll take it to the second quadrant which is uh, we take it to the third quadrant which is 180 plus the principal angle so that is the third quadrant here so that will be 240 degrees so 240 degrees will be here then the second quadrant will be 180 minus that angle is 120 degrees to be here. So hence the values of x are 120 degrees and 240 degrees.